so hello everyone welcome back to Hasfora education just give me a minute so that we can begin so today we will be discussing the final tips before the paper and the preparation you need one day before that what you need to do before one day before the biology mcq paper for the as level and the goal is actually for light revision maximum retention and the calm mindset because if you revise very heavily what will happen that your brain will just become bottlenecked and clogged up and you will just end up in a state of panic and it will actually re reduce and degrade your confidence tomorrow in the paper so the first thing that we will discuss is the plan for today one day before the paper so in the morning this I'm considering that you woke up very late and okay so and you are okay waking up at 2 p.m. So in the morning what you have to do is that from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. you have to revise these high yield MCQ topics only because I have a good feeling that this will actually show up more in this paper and it will be uh, tested more conceptually uh, rather than usually they just uh, give some fact based questions on this. So they will try to make a difficult question out of these. So revise these high yield MCQ topics only do not uh, revise very heavily so the first topic is surface area to the volume you should know that how you have to take the surface area and also remember the surface area and the volume formulas for the most basic you can say the 3d figures like the cylindrical the, the cylinder the sphere the cube the cuboid okay and also the chromosomes and their graphs for example what is the graph of the distance between the sister chromatids when they are going through the metaphase and anaphase and also the distance between the centromere and the poles of the spindle fiber I have also covered a type of question in the hardest questions video you can have a look at it so and the diffusion across the membranes the factors that that actually affect the diffusion like temperature and the thickness of the membrane and you can also say the concentration gradient and there are also actually there are five factors so you have to revise that also you have to revise the immunity and the sequence of response the type of the immunity the innate response the uh, the you can say acquired response the humoral response the cell mediated response the T lymphocytes what is their uh, responsibility what is the what is the work of the B lymphocyte the memory cells the plasma cells how is a, a hybridoma uh, cell produced from the cancer and the B lymphocytes and also the sequence of the uh, you can say protection that is offered by these lymphocytes and phagocytes after that you have to revise enzyme plant transport and microscopy and gas exchange in the microscopy you should revise the sizes of the cell and also the density of the cells uh, structures like the nucleus chloroplast mitochondria because they often uh, relate the questions according to their density and in the plant transport you should uh, know the effect of the the cohesion tension on the uh, diameter of the trunk and also about the gas exchange the factors that make it more suitable for gas exchange like the one cell thick wall and or you can also say about the the constant stress supply of the air and in the enzymes do revise the competitive and and you can say non-competitive inhibitor and their effect on Vmax and Km value solve one past paper of the MCQ paper with time and check answer and understand the mistakes only one paper okay because if you solve the hardest questions and questions like that are very difficult because I have the even the the paper the video I had made it is not very difficult but it is very conceptual based okay so you do not have to go in a state of panic in on the last day because it will just degrade your confidence and it will also you, you are also going to mess up the things you know in the paper tomorrow so just uh, you can say only solve one past paper MCQ uh, today in the midday from 5 to 6 p.m. what you have to do is review only the incorrect questions for example the send-ups or the midterms you have given in your schools just review only the incorrect questions from the morning and watch some videos or your note 
for the tri tricky topics for example like the mitosis or the antibody response in the evening what you have to do is that you have to have light flashcard review or just revise your notes immunity sequence the enzyme inhibition types and the diffusion paths prepare your exam bag stationary id timetable just make sure you have the statement of entry and the id document in your pouch so sleep by 10 pm no shedding after that so you, your brain needs to rest to recall everything because with a calm mind you can give a very good paper and if you have a confused and panicked mind on the paper at the time of the paper you are also gonna mess up what you know now let's move on to the biology mcq paper day strategy which you are going to be applying on the day of the paper so before the exam wake up early eat light and stay hydrated do 5 to 10 easy mcqs if you can not necessary okay from the past papers to warm up your brain so not tough ones okay just the easy ones just to have a walk through and stay calm take three deep breaths and before entering the exam hall because it is just gonna relax you so during the exam one hour strategy uh, one, uh, actually it is uh, a mistake here it is about one hour and 15 minutes okay and there are 40 questions so time budget you have that you have you have four time slots the first one is from 0 to 10 minutes the other one is from 10 to 50 minutes the third one is from 50 to 65 minutes and the fourth one is from 65 to 75 minutes so in the first 10 minutes you are just gonna solve the easy direct recall questions first which are just fact based which requires no solving no knowledge okay just just facts okay like for example the factors or you can say the the graphs or like type of that in the 10 to 50 minutes you have to solve the medium based questions and the tricky logic graph questions or the calculation based question also there are less calculation based questions so the biology paper is more manageable than the chemistry and the physics one because there are less calculations involved in the 50 to 65 minutes you have to revisit the flat or the skip questions that you found tougher at the first place and then into 65 to 75 minutes you have to finally check the bubble sheet and you have to check if there are no misalignments that for example if the answer that you mark on the question paper for the fourth is a you have to check whether in the b on the bubble sheet it is a or not and you have also uh, you also have to look carefully for the silly errors so while solving each mcq step by step strategy is to read carefully circle the keywords or the exceptions for example sometimes they place the words that it always meets this condition so that is what actually changes the whole verse of the question use elimination crowds out the obviously wrong options which cannot be possible just like i have shown you when i solve the questions think diagrammatically draw a rough sketch if needed like the mitosis graph at what would happen if this condition is possible and mark and move in if ensure don't waste more than 1.5 minutes or 90 seconds on one questions bubble uh, bubble the answer immediately you have to mark on the bubble sheet immediately because if you leave it to the end you, in the end actually there is a very panic state and there is a high chance of you can say misalignments for example you can mark the two questions on the same on the, the same question number and because a person is in very tension at that time and he just in a hurry to fill it up so you will also have the time at the end for reviewing your mistakes so bubble the answer immediately the mental reminders to keep during the exam is that every question has only one correct answer stay calm and trust the logic of your preparation no negative marking so even if you do not know the answer of it just mark any of it which uh, which sounds uh, you can say very logical or to you or you, you you think that it is the correct answer so you do not have to leak any uh, leave any of the question blank so if a question feels too confusing skip breathe and return later to it do not waste time on it because it is just going to be um, in vain no rewriting the question in your mind for example if you think this is the answer then you do not have to change it because overthinking always just makes mistakes 
so this was all the tips that i wanted to give you before the paper good luck for the paper and i'll be meeting you in the video till then goodbye